Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do the binding for the current project that we're making, but I kind of want it to also be a standalone video so that if you wanted to learn how to extend the bindings. So what I mean by that is if you used this page from my set of templates, this is the Simply Magical Landscape version. And this also works for the portrait version as well. If you're using the templates and let's say you use page L3 and you're doing five page binding, it depends on how you use this template, whether or not you're going to have to extend the binding set. So I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this template in such a way that I have to extend it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do in this video. But this project, the one that we're currently working on is the Simply Magical Landscape version, and we are using the 49 and Market Curators Botanical Paper Collection. And I have a video playlist for this. I will link that up here, and it starts with the introduction to the templates. I might put the workbook video in there, and then the first video in this series. We didn't actually make make the cover, but we talked a lot about the different things uh, that we're using. And I, I told you, oh, I never did tell you my boo-boo that I made on my cover. Oh shoot, let me show you the, the boo-boo I made on the cover first. <laughs> I completely forgot. The cover, I made my covers the normal way. Chipboard, Tyvek, I've used coffee stained paper, wrapped my covers, that whole nine yards. Well, when I did, when I did, when I attached all three pieces together, so there's my spine and my front and back cover, I had cut that the paper that I wrap around to attach them all together, I cut it too, too narrow. So there was just a teeny tiny little bit of overlap right here. Well, so I did, I had a layer of paper, a layer of tape, a layer of Tyvek, a layer of tape. That's what, that's what the sandwich was. And so, this, it was like, it was like less than like a quarter, well, it was about a quarter of an inch that was actually stuck to the cover. And it kept pulling up. It kept pulling, no matter what glue I used, it kept pulling up. So what I did was I took a wider piece of coffee stained paper. I just cut it down. I think I ended up cutting it down to like five and a half or something, I don't know. And I covered the entire thing with a six inch, um, scrapbook.com tape and wrapped it around and burnished it in really good. I kind of overlapped just barely here, but it's okay. So that was my boo-boo that I made uh, on my cover is I had to do an extra layer on the spine and the, where the, um, what are those things called? Where the grooves are, where the, where the, um, where the covers hinge to the spine that area so yeah anyway so it was funny so now it's just really thick right now so that's okay all right so we're gonna do the binding I'm gonna set that aside and I have already printed page L3 I printed it two times on to this is 80 pound white cardstock. I have it linked in my Amazon. I have a special Amazon list just for this project. And I have a lot of um, links down below if you want to see what I'm using in this project or if you need or if you just need links to go check it out. I have it all down below in the show more section. So I printed two out onto 80 pound cardstock. That's my favorite. You use whatever white cardstock you prefer. And I'm going to get my paper trimmer out. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and trim, trim these out all the way around. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is get my scoreboard out. And I'm going to score. 
I'm going to score each and every one of these lines on both pieces. So I'm going to do both pieces. Also, I should say, if you don't want to use the templates, that's totally fine. You can just grab you a larger piece of cardstock and you can score every half an inch all the way down until you have what you need for your book. You don't have to use um, the ones I provide for you. You just Then you'll just have to figure out how tall. You'll just have to use the main base page to figure out how tall these should be. Okay. Okay, so then the next step is I'm going to go through and prep all of these score marks. I'm going to go in one direction. I know people do these so many different ways, so you do whatever is most comfortable for you. But I like going in one direction first. I feel like for me, it's a, a much neater and even finished product. So I'm going to do that to both, right? And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go the other direction. Okay. So now I have them both do I have them? No, I, have, I don't have them both. Let me do this one real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is what I'm thinking. So you could, you could literally just do the accordion fold and you can, you have enough for the five fins. But I want to have my, my binding piece kind of floating free a little bit, but attached to the front and back cover. So in order to be able to do that, I needed to have more, more of this on the covers, on the front and back covers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on one piece, I'm going to cut two, one hinge off basically. Because the way I'm doing it, it's going to work out to where I would have a really thick hinge and I don't want that. I don't want a thick hinge. So I'm just going to cut this end off here, right? So I'm going to attach this piece down to the next piece on this one and then we'll go from there. So how I'm going to do that, I'm going to use two methods. I'm going to use double-sided adhesive and I'm going to use glue. So this is a 3 8 inch tape, score tape. I'm sure that, I'm pretty sure this is 3 8 inch score tape. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna burnish this, and then I'm gonna use some liquid glue. I'm gonna use art glitter glue. I'll shake it up a little bit just so it does not come apart. So let's see, that's going on top here. So let's put it on the paper too. So I'm going to match that up. So now the extra bulk is actually going to be flat. So it'll be flat like this. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to skip the first. Let me scoot you in. Let me scoot you in a little more. 
We're going to skip the first three, one, two, three, and then let me make sure that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Okay, so yeah, we're going to skip, actually, we're going to skip the first four, one, two, three, four, and then this is going to be a fin. Matter of fact, I'm going to use some clips. This will be a fin. So it'll be kind of like this. And then you skip the next one and then you fold the next two together. This will be fin number two. You skip the next one and then you fold the next two together. Fin number three. Skip the next one and then the next two will be fin number four. Skip the next one and put the next two together. It's fin number five. So then you want to count, let me make sure I'm right here, then you want to count four over, one, two, three, four, and we're going to cut from here over off. That my workbook. Okay, so these first, I didn't cut that very straight, did I? So I'm going to flip this on the back side and I'm going to mark, wait a minute, let me make sure I know what I'm saying here. I've never done this before, so this is going to be a new thing for me. I think it's going to be fun, so we'll see how it goes. Right, that goes there, that goes there. So I'm going to put adhesive on the first two and the last two. I'm going to skip two from each one of those. Okay, let's see, take all those off. So adhesive, adhesive, no adhesive, no 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 adhesive, adhesive, no adhesive, uh oh, something's not right. I think it's correct. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to put, we're going to use. Let me move my cover out of the way. We're going to use the same, whoa, the same 3 8 inch. And actually, I'm going to kind of burnish out on those first two. I'm just going to burnish out that, that score we made because you don't need it. The first two and the last two, you can just burnish that score out a little bit. And I'm going to completely, do I have bigger? I have bigger. Let me see what I got. Uh, do I have anything bigger than that? Uh, one inch. Let's do that. This is one inch tape. And I have this linked below. This one is from Cherry on Top. If you just have a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch or half an inch or whatever it is, use what you got. I just happen to have all the sizes and I love all the sizes. I love having the sizes. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay. So, and then we're going to do the same thing on the back here. Or, okay, so first two we burnished out that score and we put a one inch piece of adhesive and the last two burnished out the score we're going to put a one inch strip of adhesive on that sometimes i think we make things more complicated i make things more complicated than they need to be okay so i'll scoop those out of the way and then we're going to put adhesive 
I'm going to use my 3 8 inch and the one that we've got an X on so you skip skip adhesive you skip two and then we want to put adhesive and we're going to put the adhesive towards the top of the score so I don't know how well you can see that so one inch piece we skipped two and then we put adhesive, not close to this score, but close to where it's going to be the peak, right? So that's the peak, and that's where you want your adhesive to be. At least in my mind, that's where I want it to be. So everywhere we've marked an X, we want to do that. This is my right angle tool, by the way. I have it linked down below. It's an Etsy shop. If you want to check it out. Burnish these down. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through, take my tape off. Let me get my garbage bowl. This is also in my essentials playlist. This is one of my templates. It's the garbage bowl. I'll link that up here. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a line of wet glue like that. And Actually, I think I'm going to flip it this way and pinch it like this. Okay, flip it back over, take that adhesive off. I'm just going to do a line of glue here. Whoops! <laughs> Wrong one! Line of glue here. That's funny. Got ahead of myself. I'll flip it over and I'm gonna pinch it. Okay, same thing. Take this off. Line of glue. Okay, so now we have five, one, two, three, four, five. We have five fins. So I'm going to take a second and I'm going to burnish them one way, burnish them the other way. Just work them back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to take a second and I want to ink this edge. I'm going to just use my walnut stain distress ink. I probably should have used my background design but on the fins, but I'll just matte each one. Okay. So I'm trying to decide now if I want to put anything on the back side here, like a piece of fabric or something. Let me see. So it's going to go in here like this. Well centered, of course. I don't think I'm going to do fabric, but I do think I'm going to ink this up. Scooched you a little too close, I think. Okay, so now I'm toying with the idea of putting fabric so that it doesn't tear along this middle part here. Just as like an extra little something. Oh, bless you. This way. I'm going to do a couple strips this way. So, let me cut my fabric. This is just muslin fabric, and I'll, let's see, I'll do two 
strips. Maybe I should do three. That might be kind of cool if you look down in there and see. No, I'm just going to do two. So, I'm going to remove these tape back, but, but hang on to them because we might have to put them back. Remove those. And... I think what I'll do is I will... Just kind of like... Do that, and then I'm going to take some Fabri-Tac. So I've got it attached down to here. Then I'm going to take some Fabri-Tac, and I'm just going to go right where that fabric is going to be. But I'm not going to completely cover that whole surface. I'm just going to attach it to each one of these sections, just like that. Did not get it on there straight, but that's okay. And I'm going to do the same for this. Not really going to see these, but just in case you do, just in case. Okay. So I'm going to stick these back on here, just so I don't uh, keep sticking myself to that. And then the next thing I wanted to think about is I'm going to scooch you out a little bit. I'm just improvising. Improvising. I'm improvising. <laughs> glue here. Okay, so everything's still flexible. Yeah, that's definitely what I want. And I also don't want it to tear. So then, so let's say we've got this attached here and here, and we open our book, so it's going to be like this, and our pages, or we open our book at like this, and our pages to lay them flat, you know, they it comes up a little bit. So you're going to see here. So I took, I already did this because I was thinking ahead, took my Shades of Color, I think this is 15 uh, from the Shades of Color set, and... I cut it down to fit, it should be the same height, it is, to fit on here like so, and I think that'd be a fun pop of color if you look down inside. So I wanted to do a few things to this first, and I'm first I'm going to, I think I'm going to ink it, let me ink it with a little bit of purple first just on the top and bottom and then I'm going to come back and do a little bit of brown. I need to get me a new sponge. But I also kind of want to jazz it up a little bit. I want to do some gold foiling. so. Scoot that out of the way. And the gold foiling is what we used in the last set. 
So this is the gold decorative foil paper. And I'm just gonna grab a sheet and we're gonna do our distressed glue stick trick. And you can see I've used this one quite a bit. Let's do the not so shiny, okay? And I'm just gonna use, whoa, it's coming off. It's coming off of there. I'm gonna use this glue stick. This is just what I have. And you're really just gonna see the top and bottom if this might be, this might be too much, but I just think if you see it, how cool would that be to have a little bit of gold peeking out there, gold foil. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to this bottom here. I'll have all of this stuff inked in. Inked. I'll have all this stuff linked in my Amazon list for you guys. gonna go there and then before I do that let me ink this edge because I'll end up inking the top and bottom of this cover all the edges but I don't want to get it on my gold foil so let me get it now Then I was, so this is gonna be here, right? So this is when you when your when your cover is upright or you're looking at your pages or something, that's gonna peek through a little bit. So I also wonder, I was thinking maybe this again might be too much. I was thinking about putting a butterfly on here. Oh, somebody asked me about my butterfly ephemera keeper here that I've got. I made this using the same the same products that I made the actual album. This is from the Basically Amazing, and this is the D-sized pages for the Basically Amazing, but I made the pages the same way. The same way, um, with, with the exception of, I used a page 56.2C out of the Basically Amazing set of templates. And I added some in between, some pockets in between, because a lot of these are um, small. So I wanted to make sure that I had room. So I made it the exact same way, so you can go check out that playlist. But I thought it would be fun to maybe add a butterfly. Nothing that's like too in your face, but just something. I think it would be cute. I want to do like a small one. Just something peeking out. Oops, that one's coming out. That you can't really tell, like it, you know, I don't know. I just think it might be kind of cute to have maybe a couple butterflies coming out the top. That one I'm going to have to fussy cut just a little bit more. Mm. Uh, it kind of makes me want to do two different colors or just have one you think this one's too big I don't know I can't decide oh that might be too big so let's just do this little bitty one here so it's it's gonna be so tiny but I'm gonna press the cut just a little bit more I'll let my brother scan and cut cut these so these are also the same, oops. these are also the same butterflies that we used in the last album. So I will have them linked down below. You could use one of the butterflies from the paper collection, but I just feel like that's kind of wasteful. Boy, this is teeny tiny in it. Give it a little bit of 
ink. And you never know, you guys, we might be doing this for absolutely nothing. <laughs> there might, we might not be able to use this at all. I mean, you might not be able to see it. It might just be a complete, total waste of time. But I just think it's kind of a cute idea. Oh, I should have inked the back of that. Well, that's okay. So this is going to be here. So I just kind of want it peeking out like this. So you're kind of just like, what? what is there, you know? Just a little, little something. So cute. Okay. Now on to what we were doing. I, I'm actually going to use Forever Tech and I'm gonna attach this down real quick. See, I even said ink edges and foil. Now this isn't going to be holding anything. It's purely decorative and just in case, like it's a little pop of something if you happen to see inside of there. It's like a little surprise. So I used the actual spine piece, the mat for the spine, to create this page right here, this little thing. I just traced it. You would think this you would think this is the outside, but it's not. It's the inside. So cute. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna line up. Okay, so one, two, three. We're gonna line up this third mark with this first edge of the spine chipboard and we're going to attach down these two pieces here so I'm going to remove this tape backing and I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac where the fabric is on just those two pieces right there if I can get it to come out just some Fabri-Tac on there and then I'm going to use art glitter glue on the other pieces just to make sure it doesn't move. Now, eventually we'll be matting over top of these two pieces, so it's not gonna matter. But, you know, you won't need that extra strength because we're gonna mat over top, but just in case. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to line up that third mark right along that edge as best I can, top and bottom. I would get my hand out of the way. And I'm going to lay that down. So these two here are the only ones that are attached to the cover. These first two. And I'll show you. So if I bend it back, this third one and fourth one and so on is not attached. Just these first two. Kind of thinking that I may want to put just a little bit here. I don't want the whole thing attached down. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm just going to attach just a, or put just a little bit of glue right here just so that's part of the third one is attached. And I'm going to burnish. Okay, so the same thing on this side. I'm going to remove the tape backing. Well, maybe. Put fabric tack on the fabric part. Part glitter glue or whatever white glue of choice that you like. You do whichever one you want. And then I think I'm gonna just go along this edge here like this with some, with some, with some white glue. Okay, so 
Now I'm going to carefully line that up on the edge. Hopefully, well, I'm not actually in the center from top and bottom wise, but it's okay. All right, let's burnish this down. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about? So when that's going to be loose like that. Hang on a minute, though. What I need to do is I need to let it dry. And then I can manipulate it and I'll show you. I'll come back in just a second. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is instead of leaving that completely loose right here, I'm going to take some glue and let it drip down into just the um, area right there in the in the hingy part and I'm gonna press it down really 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 good come on and that way I don't think it'll be as poofy I'll show you what I mean so I'm actually going to I wish I would have I wish I would have done this off camera like I wish I would have done a test run for you guys <laughs> But, well shoot you guys, as soon as I started that, it, my battery died. Hopefully my glue's still wet. I wish I would have done a test drive first before recording so I would have known that I needed to go ahead and make sure that that is attached right there so that it wasn't sticking out too far. Okay, so I think now what I'm going to do so I'm just going to keep working this like that. I've already done this side. So I'm just going to keep working this until it's dry. And then um, see if it's going to do what I want it to do. So I'm just literally taking my ergonomic bone folder, thingy Teflon bone folder, and just rubbing it in here. Rubbing it in that little crevice. You can see how we're going to be able to peek inside of there so sometimes it's just the little details you know isn't that cute i guess you can't really see it there we go isn't that cute right there <laughs> i like it okay all right i'm gonna let this dry and then i will come back i'm gonna let it dry like this i think okay so i left it sit for a little bit i don't know if it's 100 percent done drying but before I glued those little bits into the little crevices this was sticking way much further out and I'm sure as we work through this album this will be a little bit more flexible maybe a little bit more I don't know flat but you can see I thought it would just be fun to have it loose well I don't know where, where am I pointing I thought it would be fun to have it loose and uh, that way you could see it and when we are flipping through our pages i was hoping it would make it easier to um to lay each page on top of each page so we'll see this is going this is a experiment in progress so if it doesn't work well we'll know we'll know right we'll have to figure out how to fix it but for now what's that uh, for now, it's going to be just fine. So you could, if you want to, you can come back and like ink some of that. But again, I think we're going to be um, matting all of these pieces anyway. So it doesn't matter because I made a glue mess up here. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do something there. But again, it doesn't matter. It will all look good in the end, hopefully. And then there's going to be, I'm just going to use this. We're going to be having a mat that's coming all the way up to here. Well, that's probably not a good tip. We'll have a mat that will be coming all the way up to this edge. So you won't see all of that. So it'll be like that. Do you see what I'm saying? 
So that'll be anchored down even more on both sides, front and back. And I probably could have done that because I matted this after I wrapped everything. So I probably could have waited and then matted just with the coffee uh, stained paper. But either way, okay, so that's all we're gonna do in today's video. And that was the first time I'd done like a loose, like, at least I think it's the first time. And if there, if I've done it before, I just can't remember. Um, like a hard and loose binding or spine or, or uh, I don't know what else to call it. But anyway, I just think it's cute little peekaboo in there, like a little tunnel. So anyway, I think it's cute. So we'll see how it all works out. All right, you guys, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And make sure you're subscribed to my channel and turn that bell notification on so that you're notified when I upload a video. I love getting notified. Like, I, sometimes when I'm distracted in a video, it's because I just got notified on my phone <laughs> that one of my favorite YouTubers or something has just uploaded a video. So I like being notified. It's, it's, um, it, makes, it makes it easier. And that way I'm aware of what videos they're putting out. But anyway, so yeah. Let me know what you think, you guys. Uh, be sure to, you know, leave me a comment, a thumbs up, all that jazz. And thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.